Pesticide. Residue. Analysis in Fruits and Vegetables. Pesticide residue analysis in fruits and vegetables begins with the careful collection of samples using specific methodologies. Upon collection, the samples undergo chopping and grinding in the laboratory to ensure uniformity. The homogenized samples are then stored at low temperatures to maintain their integrity throughout the analytical process. Subsequently, various extraction techniques such as liquid-liquid extraction, LLE, or quitchers are employed to isolate the pesticide residues from the samples. In cases where impurities are detected, supplementary cleanup methods like solid phase extraction, SPE, or dispersive solid phase extraction, DSPE, are applied to enhance the purity of the samples. Following extraction and cleanup, the samples undergo concentration or dilution as per the specific requirements of the analysis. This step ensures optimal conditions for accurate detection and quantification of pesticide residues. Pesticide residue analysis in fruits and vegetables involves a comprehensive approach utilizing advanced analytical instruments and techniques to ensure accurate detection and quantification. Here's an expanded explanation of the analytical instruments commonly used in this field. High Performance Liquid Chromatography. HPLC separates and quantifies pesticide residues based on their retention time in a liquid mobile phase flowing through a solid stationary phase. It is highly effective for analyzing a wide range of compounds and offers excellent sensitivity and selectivity. Gas chromatography, mass. Spectrometry, GCMS, combines the separation capabilities of gas chromatography with the detection and identification capabilities of mass spectrometry. It vaporizes and separates pesticide residues into individual components, which are then ionized and analyzed based on their mass to charge ratio. GCMS is particularly useful for volatile and semi-volatile compounds. Liquid chromatography, mass. Spectrometry, LCMS utilizes a liquid mobile phase instead of a gas. It is suitable for analyzing non-volatile and thermally unstable compounds, making it ideal for certain pesticide residues that may not be compatible with GCMS. Pesticide residue analysis laboratories can effectively identify, quantify, and report pesticide residues in fruits and vegetables, contributing to food safety and regulatory compliance efforts. Subscribe to our Pesticides Info YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.